Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I'm going to show you how I cloned a dried mushroom. For the first phase of the experiment, I harvested some fresh mushrooms and dehydrated them in a food dehydrator at 130 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 hours. I also dehydrated one of the mushrooms without using heat by using damp red crystals as a desiccant. Next I made a batch of agar plates so that I could transfer the tissue of the mushrooms to the plates and hopefully grow the mycelium. To make sure everything is clean, I wiped everything down with isopropyl alcohol and I wear gloves and a mask. And I'm working in front of a laminar flow hood. I use a disposable sterile scalpel to transfer the tissue to the agar plates. The first mushroom is one that was dehydrated at 130 degrees Fahrenheit and I split it open exposing the tissue on the inside and used the sterile scalpel to transfer a piece of the dry tissue to the agar plates. The dried mushroom tissue is very flaky and that makes it hard to get it to stick on the scalpel especially with the flow hood blowing air at it. After I transferred the tissue to the three agar plates, I used some sterile water that I made by boiling water and then sucking it up into the syringe and allowing it to cool down. I added a few drops of sterile water to each agar plate to rehydrate the dried tissue. I labeled this batch heat dry and then wrapped them in parafilm. Then I moved on to the mushroom that was dehydrated using dampered crystals. After allowing the agar plates to incubate at 75 degrees Fahrenheit for two weeks, the results were in. None of the heat dry agar plates were successful, one of them showing no growth at all and the others showing really bad bacterial growth.
out of the damperid batch they all had bacteria but one of the plates had a tiny piece of actual mycelium growing so in the next part i go ahead and transfer away from the bacteria to a new plate to try to isolate the mycelium I flame sterilized a metal tool and transfer the piece of mycelium to a new agar plate. After transferring the piece of mycelium to a new agar plate, I wrapped it in parafilm and allowed it to incubate at 75 degrees Fahrenheit for two weeks. I was happy to see that I was successful in transferring the clean mycelium to the new agar plate. For the next phase of the experiment, I harvested the second flush from this bag and dehydrated it at 100 degrees Fahrenheit for eight hours. Once the mushrooms were dried, I set up my workspace again to take transfers. After I was finished taking the transfers, I added a few drops of the sterile water to each of the plates.
I wrapped each plate in parafilm and allowed them to incubate at 75 degrees Fahrenheit for two weeks. Out of the 10 agar plates, three of them were successful in resuscitating the mycelium. And the other seven plates either didn't grow at all or were heavily contaminated with bacteria. These results, I concluded that if the mushrooms are dried below 130 degrees Fahrenheit, there's a good chance that you'll be able to clone them. I hope this video helps you if you had a bag of your favorite dried mushrooms and you wanted to try to clone them so that you could grow them in the future. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one.